Hello everyone and welcome back to Lotus Premier Education. My name is Amanda and I want to be your college tutor. Today we're going to talk about kind of a crazy part of the college admissions process right now and that topic is test optional. So how optional is test optional anyway? Well, the answer to that question is actually a little bit complicated. Schools started going test optional during the pandemic, as many of us know. But the reason why is because they didn't have a choice. The SAT and the ACT were canceling almost every single test date, and they didn't have the capacity to put themselves online yet. Remember that piece of information because it's very important. So for the last few years, colleges have gone test optional and students have responded really positively to this because there are a lot of students who just really struggle with test taking. It's not their forte and the testing piece of the application process would bring down their application. But the test optional admissions policies actually had kind of a counterintuitive effect. What happened was students with really great scores stop sending their scores because they thought those scores weren't great enough. So what ended up happening was the average that schools were reporting as their average SAT or their average ACT score suddenly went far higher. And so students started feeling even more pressure to submit either top scores or absolutely nothing at all. This has become really difficult because a lot of students who work really hard to achieve scores that are 100, 150, even 200 points higher than where they started on the SAT or 6, 7, or 8 points higher than where they started on the ACT are still not submitting their test scores because they're not quite high enough to fulfill these school's averages. So what do you need to know about test optional policies? Number one, test optional policies are not guaranteed to last forever. The SAT is releasing an online version this year, which is going to make there to be less excuses on why you should or should not take the SAT. So number one, test optional policies, probably not going to last forever. Number two, you want to plan to take the tests. And if you can't get to the scores you need, that's when you go test optional. I see a lot of students who remove themselves from the test prep process too early because they don't think they're gonna get the scores they want. That's not helpful. You should commit yourself to test prep and you should plan on sending your scores. It's only later when you choose to go test optional. And number three, when a school is releasing their average ACT or their average SAT score, you shouldn't take that at face value because they're not receiving the bottom end of those averages anymore. Everyone who's sending in their scores is sending in top scores, which is really changing what they're reporting. If this video is helpful, please like, subscribe to our channel. If you do subscribe, comment below so we can thank you. And if you have more questions about test optional or the college process, comment below. We'll see you soon.